Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to some more Mario Party 3. We're going to go to item minigames because this is here, why not? We're going to go in left to right. So yeah, let's go. Starting with winner's wheel. Okay, stop the roulette wheel with good timing to get an item. Stop the roulette wheel with a... Play close, what? Pay close attention, what? Pay close attention to the roulette wheel lights before you hit the switch. Okay, so mushroom, skeleton key, warp block, cellular sopper, and baby bowser. I'm gonna go for the dueling glove. No. I'm gonna go for the skeleton key. Well, apparently I can't get that because I just got the cellular sopper. Nope. Wow, I got the key. Oh my god. So yeah, scampers about using the golden mushroom with Mario, Luigi is the skeleton key, Peach is the plunder chest, Yoshi is the warp lock, Donkey Kong is the reverse mushroom. I forgot about the reverse mushroom. It only makes up an appearance in Mario Party 3 and it never came back. Why is that? It's such a good item. Maybe that's why. Wario's the dueling glove. Daisy is the... Okay, it doesn't say what the favorite item is for Daisy and Waluigi. It just says in the book here, making her first appearance in the Mario Party series is the delightful tomboy Daisy. She can only be used in party mode. Waluigi, the craftiest guy of all, it's Waluigi. She's also appearing here for the first time and likewise can only be used in party mode. Millennium Star, only one is born every 1,000 years, a star among stars. It is said that whoever possesses it will be the greatest superstar in the entire universe. And we also have Tumble right here, the guide for the minigames. A magical die brought to life by the Millennium Star. He's the player's guide and helper. Cool. So yeah, that's what you have here is the Daisy and Waluigi, but it doesn't say, it doesn't specify the items, and there's the rest of them right there. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And it's colorized in the instruction manual, which is very nice. These were such a nice thing to have to make the games feel more complete when you get them, especially when collecting games. For N64, it's always nice to have the booklet, but for some reason, during the Xbox 360 and PS3 days, they started to go away from the booklet and go for the digital booklets, basically the online stuff. And I just hated, hated that decision, because why? Sure, it's more convenient for them, but for us, it takes away the feeling of having your games be complete on the shelf. Come on. But yeah, here we go. Hey, bada ba Hey, bada bada. Hit Baby Bowser's pitch. Hit an item with the ball to get that item. You can swing the bat only once. Okay, Poison Mushroom or Curse Mushroom. Reverse Mushroom, Plunder Chest, Bowser Thorn and Lucky Lamp. I forgot to read the rest of it. Oh my god. Uh, let's see. Go for a reverse muscle. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. A little too late. I got the curse muscle. Well, how about that? Okay, view the rules. Let's see the rest of it. Swing the bat. The item you will hit will change with the timing of your swing. Watch the ball and time your swing well. And for some reason, when we go to the minigame explanation screen, you press B, you won't go back. You have to go into the minigame. Ooh, boo repellent. I'm gonna get that. Yes. 
Well, so much for that. I tried to get blue repellent. No, I got a golden mushroom, which is equally as good, but still, come on, come on. Alright, next minigame up, we have Bobbing Balloon. Or Balloons, depending on how you want to say it. It can be with the bow. You have the L and the bow. Or Balloons. You... I guess it's Balloon, because you don't bow when trying to shoot a balloon. <laughs> okay, time your arrow to shoot down an item. What? A to shoot the arrow, and watch how the balloon is moved, then release your arrow carefully. You also got a Bowser suit here. I'm gonna see if I can get that. It's all the way over there, of course. Alright, I'm gonna play that again because I did not get- Oh, Boo Bell! That's not what I wanted! Okay, we got a lucky lamp. Okay, next one up we have Dolly Dip. This is a nice one. It's also timing based. Ooh, magic lamp. If you ground pound on Dory's back, she'll grab an item for you. Ground pound. It takes a little time for Dory to grab an item after you do a ground pound. Well, no crap. It's pretty easy. I'm thinking if the item is over there to the upper right, you'll get it when you ground pound it. Like that. I like that echo in there. Especially with Mario. He goes, yeah, The echo is just sounds so good. Okay. I guess I can all I guess I guess I can go through the minigames again and show you what happens when you miss. So there we go. Swinging with the sucks. Okay. Jump from the swing and land on a barrel to get an item. Timing is important. Jump. If you land in the water, you'll get nothing, so be careful. Okie dokie. I will not be careful. Alright, next, the last minigame we have here is Swing and Swipe, and then I'll show you what happens when you lose. Okay, hit a baby Bowser with the hammer to get the item in a treasure chest. Move Swing horizontally. Target an item, then hit that baby, 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 baby Bowser quickly before you lose sight of him. Okay, I'm gonna get the Bruin Glove. Why? Because, well, that's a good item. Okay. Right one over there. I'm gonna get him. Come on, Luigi. Hit that baby Bowser. Send him. Send him into orbit. Pow! Pow! Right in his face. He's gonna feel that for weeks. Okay. What happens when we lose? Okay. When you, if you hit one of them. You're gonna win that item regardless. So, how do you lose? Let time run out? Of course. Let time run out and then... Okay. <laughs> kind of unnecessary that they have to walk back to their positions in order to rub it in our faces that we lose, but whatever. Okay. Why did I... I can just skip my... Alright. Well, I could jump in the water. <laughs> But, even if time runs out, 
you're gonna land in the water regardless. So yeah. And for some reason, the sucks don't come after us. I don't get it. You think they want some human, but they don't. These these ones don't. Go eat dip. Alright. You can get baby Bowser or you can let time run out and he'll still dance. But I'm gonna see if I can get him anyway. I think even if you lose, that will automatically happen, so there you go. I already showed you what happens when you lose that because for some reason I mistimed it so bad that the arrow didn't hit a single balloon. Wow. Okay. In order to miss this, if you, can, you can miss one of two ways. You can get a strike. Or a pop fly. But it's kind of random. Yeah, that didn't work. I'm trying to see if I can do a pop fly to him. Whether you can swing so early or swing so late. I'm not sure. I think it's random if the ball gets popped up or not. I don't know. I'm gonna try swinging really early. Apparently, I can't do that either. I tried to time it so I hit early, maybe hit the ball off the end of the bat, but no, I still apparently have a line drive to center field. Wow, it's hard to get a pop up in this one. It's easy to do it in real life, but it's very hard in this game. Okay, I'm going to sh cut the video here until I can actually get a pop-up. There we go, that's the pop-up. Alright, there we go. That's how it looks like getting a pop-up. And there you go. Alright, uh, okay, I still have to sew this one for missing, so let's see if we can get Baby Bowser. If we let time run out, it'll automatically go to Baby Bowser, but I'm gonna see if I can time it and get him myself. I got a Bowser, but it's a suit. Bowser's suit is good. In this game, you can steal 20 coins from anyone you pass. Alright, hit baby Bowser. Beach. No, of course not. We have to get that. All right, third time's the charm. There we go, got it that time. Of course, the game decided to take pity on me and actually give me an item, even though I'm trying to get Baby Bowser. I hit Baby Bowser, I stopped it on Baby Bowser, but no, apparently the game didn't want me to get Baby Bowser. Alright. I'll give it one more shot. If I hit Baby Bowser and the game doesn't give it to me, I'm gonna let time run out and yeah.
Even the piranha plants are like, wow, are you stupid? Yeah, apparently. Alright, so that is it for the item minigames, the wins and the losses. Uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Leave a like on the video if you did, and I will see you next time. For more. Later.